A friend of mine told me that there's a woman who's a TikToker, TikTok creator, TikTok, blah, 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 whatever you call them, and that she finds people's information without even having them give them her or their names. So since I'm a huge online privacy guy, advocate for it, obviously, uh, all personal privacy, my friend said, hey, watch this video. Tell me what you think of what this woman's doing. I've never seen it, so you're gonna see it the first time just like I am. So let's see what's going on. All I see right now is on the screen it says, find my birthday. All right, so let's rock and roll and see what she's doing. Bill 594, I know you think you were hidden away because your profile picture is Bob Dylan, but what if I told you Bob Dylan is the reason I found your birthday? This one was very fun. Your username is Hale, and then it says Hey at the top, so I immediately thought maybe your name's Haley. Googled your username to see if any TikTok comments came up, and only one did. Ironically, it says you are at a birthday party with your babies and without your husband. And that says to me, you have one husband and more than one baby. Then we look at your profile picture. It's Bob Dylan. I know what he looks like, but even if I didn't, it says Bob Dylan if you zoom in on this text. Also, first I think I would not want her to be my ex-girlfriend. She's a great stalker. So she's, she's doing a great job so far of all the paper trail that people leave online. But let's keep going. Clock this as a museum right away because the lighting is so nice on the portrait and there's text on the wall. It looks like you took this photo in the museum yourself. It's not something you'd get off of Google. I wanted to know where you were and I Googled Bob Dylan museum photo. There's a Bob Dylan Center in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Then I Googled Bob Dylan Center interior photos and there's the one you took. I went to your followers to see. How blessed are we to live in a day and age where we have all this information and obviously curse and a blessing because back in the day, uh, you know, in the intelligence world, you had to do a lot of on the ground boots research, but like she's doing now, she wanna know where that Bob Dylan picture is. You just gotta Google, okay, where's this stuff at? Here's the museum, I mean, it takes 60 seconds. So just shows how important it is and why you gotta protect your online privacy. And in a second, I'm gonna tell you exactly what I do. If any of them were from Oklahoma. One of your followers has a video where she showed her entire work phone number. Nobody learned anything from me on the internet. So I Googled the area code. It's Texas, hey, that's next to Oklahoma. We're getting somewhere. Then I found another follower of yours who has her face as her profile picture and her full name on her profile. Her name was unique enough to find on Facebook right away and she's from Indiana. It's like, damn, that is not near Oklahoma. But she had an open Facebook friends list, so I looked up the letters H A Y. She only got one friend who starts with that Haley. And guess where Haley's from? Jones, Oklahoma. Guess how many kids Haley has? More than one. Here's Haley's one husband who says he currently lives in Oklahoma. And guess where he's from? Texas. Anytime you post, Haley, your mother and mother in law are on it with the likes and comments. Your mother in law's profile, she wished you happy birthday on August 29th. You have a friend who wished you happy birthday on August 29th, too. And you were asking people to donate to a fundraiser for your birthday, and you posted it on the 27th, which means your birthday is after but close to that. Most people donated to your fundraiser on the 29th, so I was confident that was the month and day. Nobody on Facebook mentions how old you are. I was getting so mad. I said, maybe it's on Instagram. I looked up your full name on Instagram. Your profile is is private, but your username is hey okay, like Haley, Oklahoma, I'm assuming. I said, maybe this is your username somewhere else, like Twitter. It was, and on your Twitter, I learned nothing about your birthday, but I did find some info. In 2009, you said half marathon in a week, and then you also said that you love running with your mom and sister. That half marathons are not for casuals. You are a runner. I know that when people run races, the results usually show how old they are. Back to Facebook, onto your mom's profile, and try to see if you had any photos together showing a running bib. This one, in 2012, in San Antonio. Looked up your bib number, and it had your name, but it did not have your age. That picture was three years after you said you love running on Twitter. I said, there gotta be other races that you're in. I needed to find out what year you got married so I could figure out when you added your husband's last name to get the correct results on race websites. Here it is, you got married in 2016. Knew any race website would have only your maiden name before the year 2016. Looking up your full name on Google showed me that there is also a fitness influencer with your full name. I was very worried that if I looked up race results, it might be her instead of you. I said, I need a detailed timeline of where you've lived and when. Where will I find that? LinkedIn. You were in Indianapolis from 2004 to 2008. You continued living there until 2010. You moved to Texas from 2010 to 2018 and Oklahoma from 2018 to now. So I went to active.com, which has a lot of national race results. Typed in your first name and your maiden last name. Next results came up and I cross-referenced where each of these races were held to where you lived at the time. Guess how many of them matched up? Three, 2014, half marathon in Texas when you lived there. It says you were 28, but hadn't turned 29 in August yet, which means this birthday would have been 1985. 2012, another half marathon in Texas when you lived there and you were 26, hadn't turned 27, which says again, 1985. 2011, a race in Edmond, Oklahoma when you lived in Texas. But remember, it's Thanksgiving. You would have visited family at home. November of 2011, you would have already turned 26. So guess what year that is? 
1985. Happy birthday, August 29th, 1985. Haley, imagine if you just sat at your house doing nothing instead of being physically active. This wouldn't have happened, okay? Bye. <laughs> All right, she's a character, she did a good job. So here's what you gotta remember. You've gotta control what you share and stop oversharing certain personal items. I am very particular and I control what's out there on the internet for me. So I get these knuckleheads every once in a while and they email me and they say, hey Jason, you brag about how nobody can find your house and you brag about this and that. And they're like, here's your home address, here's all this stuff, it only took me 30 seconds to find. And I don't reply to those guys, but you know what I wanna say? Go wait at that address, wait for me to be there. Cause guess what, they'll be waiting a long time. I control the information. I have multiple addresses. I know what shows on my public profile. I know what addresses in Utah where I live show up. And again, if you go to those addresses, you're gonna be waiting a very, very long time for me to get there. So anybody can run their own background check on themselves. Anybody can go to any of these public you know, information sites and see what shows up. And I control it. I know what shows up, which is why I'm not worried about the things I share. There are a ton of reasons why you shouldn't overshare online, even if it may seem harmless at first. Most people are guilty of this. And unfortunately, the breadcrumbs that they leave behind don't usually find their way into fun little TikTok videos like this woman did, but rather into the hands of scammers, data brokers, and identity thieves. However, and the good news is there are solutions solutions out there for those of us who value our privacy. And one of those solutions is today's sponsor, Delete Me. Delete Me uses advanced technology and a dedicated team to meticulously remove your personal information from public databases and those shady looking people who are using search sites and all that. If you actually take a look at the creator's other videos, you'll see that she also recommends using Delete Me as it becomes incredibly difficult for anyone, even someone as skilled as herself, to uncover private details. So if you're concerned about protecting your personal information online, Line, you can head over to joindeleteme.com slash Hanson and use code Hanson for an exclusive 20% off all their privacy plans. And obviously I use Delete Me myself. So you gotta be careful again of what you overshare because now you see how easy it is to find you.